Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Your buddy John Megacycle here. Uh, another episode of Terra Tech coming at you. Um, we ended last episode with me being in an aircraft, and now I'm not in an aircraft. I'm still heading over to Blaster Battle for Adam. You might be wondering why I'm not in aircraft anymore. It's, uh... Well, I flew down to get some missions out of a shop, and then my vehicle got absolutely slammed by a scorpion. It's literally a jackhammer machine. I'm going the freaking wrong way, aren't I? Nice. It was literally like a jackhammer machine. It was really, really weird. But I was in my little biplane and it killed me. So I just switched to this and I'm like, you know what? I'll just go... I'll go terrestrial for a while. I'll just go... Go on the terra firma. But now that I'm seeing all these stupid mountains... <laughs> my attitude has changed greatly. Hi. Nope. Oh, wait, what? That's better. Yeah, just make this a lot easier on myself. Blaster battle. I wonder what this is going to be all about. Hopefully I'll get to buy a tech that he has or something. Just like it was natural. Uh, okay. Okay. Proto buggy vendor Adam. Targeting, targeting, subject, yeah, whatever identified. Kill order pro uh 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 Oh you suck. Okay, yeah. I saw that you're kidding. Not funny anymore. Get bent. <laughs> Switching to alternate protocol? Killing is your primary pro oh. I was gonna say, I could put on a heavier pair of pants and slap your stupid smile off your- Do you have a smile? Off that stupid pinwheel off your face. We've equipped the proto buggy with something the boffins are calling a sonic blaster. We'd like to see how effective it is. Can you use the proto buggy and survive inside the test crater for two minutes? However, our research is not fully funded, but you can help us out by joining our early access program. Let me guess, I have to buy it. I knew it. Give me the thing. Hi. A hundred? Yeah, okay. You drop it in, or... Yes, you do. <laughs> Great, look at the proto buggy. Jump in there, we've got a test to conduct. Oh, that's hot. Oh, yes, do send your tech to the SC before you start. Yeah, that's fine. Hang on, can I modify this thing at all? Like, while while we're doing this test? Fibroblade. Oh, okay. That's not as cool as I thought it was going to be. Fireworks launcher? <laughs> Research talon laser. Is this a thing that... Okay, that's hot. Like, in the best literal way possible, hot. Like, actual hot. Um, I guess modifying it at all would defeat the purpose and the spirit of the event. So let's not modify anything. But I totally could. Begin the test. <clears throat> okay. Survive for two minutes. Okay. Good pivot. Really good pivot. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see if, if it would actually rotate pretty well on its own. What is this, a sonic cutter? A sonic? A sonic blaster. Oh, the audio is cutting out again. Triple drifter, triple, triple driller, and lifter. I don't know why the audio is having such a bad day today, but it really is. I guess I'll reboot the game again after I finish up this this uh, session. Okay. I just need to start slimming up the numbers here, buddy. Yeah, the audio is just having a conniption fit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, ah! 
Uh, I guess this again. I have to beat it with just this little guy? Are you sure? Huh. Yeah, no crap it didn't. You gonna sell me a bigger thing? So hang on. I legitimately want to see if this is something you'll let me do. I wonder if there's code in here to see if this is not appropriate. Come on. Come on, dudes. Okay, now can I leave? and join up with my brothers out here. Test failed, aw. Okay. So it looks like this game is sensitive enough to not allow me to screw with it too much. Oh, well hang on. Place a tech. Send blocks into inventory. Send blocks into inventory. Play new tech. Let's see if that works. If you need another protobug, you can purchase one here. No, I'm good with the one I got. Okay, give me just a second. I got it. Oh, because there's already stuff in there. Okay, well, give me just a second. I'll be right back. Okay, okay, you got me. I can't have anything else in the field. Um. Maybe I can augment the proto buggy. That's something I'd like to try. Uh, this one's also out of battery power. So that sucks. Um, also, the sun is down, because that also sucks. Do something like this. And let's do a little customization, maybe. Maybe, maybe it won't check to see I have all the blocks. Um... Not really anything mobility that I would change. Uh, let's see here. Double the battery. Again, maybe I'll just get yelled at immediately for violating the spirit of the thing, but I want to have some fun too. Those things aren't mutually exclusive. I'm just pretending that they are. Vibro blade on top. That's perfect. Um, what other, what light weapon could I have in front that would work? First gun. The machine guns were kind of working all right for us. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. There we go. Something like that. Now I wonder if they'll detect, hey, you, you messed with the suit, man. Don't mess with the tech. Um, I need some battery power, though, for sure. Uh, we're moving along pretty nicely. I'm really happy with how this is progressing so far. We'll have level two of reticule research when that's done. Uh, seize a hostile outpost we can do. That's a fair amount of experience. Time trial, time trial, hover training novice. I don't really care about this one. This one's only 100 experience points. Doesn't do me literally any good. Uh, I'm also drastically out of cash. So what I might need to do is head home and spend a session with the Heavy Harvester and go absolutely ape crap harvesting absolutely everything I possibly can. That might be something that has to happen. Which is something that's totally doable. That's absolutely, totally, 100% doable. I will be able to make a ton of cash on the quick because I still have a ton of the Harvester's 
processors and sales units already. Yeah. I don't really have anything else to say about it. That's really about it. Uh, do I have enough time to hit the shop? Maybe grab another mission or two? If combat occurs, I'm screwed, but... Uh, nothing I want. What about shops? Good shop stuff? Plasma furnace generator? Can burn any refined or unrefined chunks. It won't give you the best return in terms of energy produced on whatever you burn, but it's not picky. It will burn pretty much any resource chunks. That's freaking cool. Mobile delivery cannon. Plasma flamethrower. This stuff is bananas, yo. I love it. Uh, no new missions, though. I should have gotten the notification saying, Hey, by the way, it's daytime. Oh, I don't need another proto buggy. I just need this one charged up. A little bit of a boost, nothing crazy. Hopefully this extra weight on the top also will improve my stability a bit. I felt like I was a bit too slidey. Okay, let's do this thing. Test- Ah, oh, damn it, it does detect that I've modified it. Yeah, okay, so... True to the thing. Uh, just load this. Load this. Cool, okay. So, I can't be a cheeky cheeky boy no matter what I try. That's fine. That's cool. Maintains the spirit of the mission. I, that's the wrong thing. I could have sworn I clicked this. Oh well. I can at least go in with full batteries, right? Like, that's okay? Because I definitely need a full charge before I attempt any of these shenanigans. I need the repair. I need... You know, I would almost lose this screen just to have more repair. I don't know what's even... I don't know what's smarter in terms of damage prevention. Uh, you can just scrap. Thank you. Alright, let's do this thing. Hello? Oh, it takes a little bit to get locked on or whatever. Okay, all I'm gonna do is run around the outside. Instead of engaging them head on. I think that's smarter. Calamity Bob, I was wondering if we'd see you again around these here parts. Tumble Crunch! Okay, so I've lasted 30 seconds. I've destroyed just one tech. But the benefit is, I think, is that I'm maximizing my longevity. Stay on the outside. Most of them, I think, will just, will just be on aggro and just not care what I'm doing. Gotta keep paying attention to where I am. Stop with the lock-ons. One minute in, have taken no damage. So this really probably isn't the test he's looking for. You know, he's probably looking for a proper combat test, but I'm not really giving that to him. <laughs> I'm really just trying to be an avoidance cycle. Come on, we're right there. Get him. Cleaning his sides. Okay, let's get these two techs that are just sitting here. Okay, a little bit of clean up there. Easy. Just have to literally avoid everything. <laughs> Ooh, not bad. 
Okay, fair and square, I did your mission. Yes, well done indeed. I am the greatest. Thanks for your help completing the test. Thanks for your help completing the test. Got some great data now. That proto buggy is your property too, obviously. Freaking blew up the first one. I have no need for you at the moment. Feel free to self destruct. Shut up. Or just continue with whatever you were doing before. Okay. I like you. <laughs> Either is fine. Cool, grade level two. Test complete. Ooh, two two chests. Some rail gun thingy. Is this a fabricator? Research scrapper. Man, it looks so retro. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Just needed a little bit of water. Uh, you can scrap or self-destruct or whatever. I don't care. <laughs> cool. Level two of that. Uh, what was next? There was a hostile outpost. Go get that done. What do we have for missions? Tesla Troubles. That's a lot of experience. I would like that one. I would like that one. What I really want to do is head home eventually to make some money. Uh, swapped current tech. How far away is home? 7.2 kilometers. That's not awful. Not great, but that's not awful. What do I already have a charge? That's interesting. Um, okay. What is this one? Seize hostile outpost. Uh, I want something a little heavier because I'll have to actually be a bit careful with how this works. This has my smeltery jobs on it, so no big deal here. Smash that up, get the lumber, get some power, cool. Okay, what is even closer? There's one that's even close. Oh, supply drop. Okay, neat. That'll buy me some time. I'll be able to get a little bit of uh, power. I did not see it drop. I was not paying attention. Oh, there it is. Easy, parcheesy, lemony squeezy. I don't know why. I've just been saying that a lot lately. Oh, free loot. More importantly, free experience points. This thing. Cab chassis. Okay, that's cool. I'd love to build, like, a hover bomber or something. These hostile outposts. So I love how this game has the capability of giving you all the options and possibility to build as huge as you want. That's super cool. I think, however, the other thing is... It depends on the practicality, and obviously after a certain point it becomes unpractical, right? Or impractical, or whatever, like it just gets obscene. But the reality of the situation is I'm still thinking like a medium tank would be the best choice. Something with a fair amount of mobility. Something in between this and my Scorpion. I'm considering this a heavy tank. Maybe a super heavy tank. Um, the Scorpion is a light tank. So I would like something that would be in a nice mix of the two. Something with a little bit better mobility. Maybe half the armor. Half the shields. Half the everything. Maybe no resource collection capabilities whatsoever. Maybe something like that. Not sure yet. But I think that might be better. Um, I don't need to screw around with Venture, so I'm not going to. That's the base, right? Nope. Uh, How are you still alive from that? Oh, doesn't matter. Oh, two down. You're not part of this fight, but I'm making you part of this fight. Okay, 
just love this music. I'm gonna get some wood so I can get a little more power. That's what I need to blow up. Vulture droid. Yep, you're done. That's kind of the issue with some of these hovercraft and stuff. The very second that you have them crippled, it's just game over. Ow, what the hell? <laughs> it's just straight up game over for them. There's really nothing that's stopping you from shutting them down fairly thoroughly. Uh, which, hey, again, not complaining. Just saying that's one of the hazards of it. With something heavy like this, like my super heavy tank, the thing is I could lose most of the front and still be a threat. That's my thought behind that. That's why I've got it built up as, as I do. If you get me like a turtle and knock me on my back, I still want to be threatening. Uh, okay, I need shops to refresh. Do we head over to meet Adam? Uh, I think we do. There's nothing I need to purchase, right? Meet Adam, destroy all turrets. I might have to if I screw up. Uh, little guy's fine. You know what? Let's risk it. Let's go see what Adam has to say about stuff. Uh, you know what? I could set up an automatic harvester here and make some money. Maybe I wouldn't make enough money to make it worthwhile while I'm in combat or whatever. I'm honestly not sure. Oh, there's some Celestium. This stuff is so rare. Oh, just another facility again. Okay, where do I meet Adam? Oh my. Yes, this looks threatening. You guys, do, what do you guys actually research or make here? Is it just weapons? God, I love that. There was an old Super Nintendo game. I want to I want to say it was called Vortex. Where you were a mech, a vehicle or an aircraft and you could switch in between the three. And you could just do exactly what I did. I I want to say it was called Vortex. The Super Nintendo was so long ago. Ah, subject whatever. What tremendous timing. That's who he sounds like. Ah, oh, yes. Another one of our sites has been overtaken. Yes, quite. Uh, the security system and all that, but this time they've also abducted our automated defenses. Yes. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Uh, just two Tesla turrets remain beyond this force field. Ah, oh, but be careful not to lingle inside their firing range. Or you might get reduced to rubble. And clear them out so we can seize our site back. Let me lower this force field for you. Sorry about that. Just had a quick work message. Okay, destroy all the turrets. So what what is your damage? How does this work? You charge up and you fire. I'm gonna assume you seek on to me, but you have a very yep. You have a limited range and a limited timer. Well. Oh, get him. Oh. But I, okay, so you just said they require power to fire. So I shouldn't be destroying your property, but it also says destroy all turrets, so I guess I'm destroying your property. Boof. That's everything cleared up. But wait, in the next room. Yes, the next adventure. More turrets are being deployed from the sky. What? Why does no one put a roof on these bases? <laughs> do what you do best. What? Explode? You know... You think you'd have a better grasp on your science doctrine or whatever the hell's going on. Okay, let's observe. Okay. 
think I see the path. It's going to be just straight this way. Like, that would have been a really good time to go. I wish I could see where the generator is. No problem. There you are. Once you get the timing solidified in your head, at least for me, easy does. Easy pickings. The only thing that gets a little difficult is the... the execution of the theory. The theory's not a problem for me. If it's like, okay, one, two, three, go. Red light stop, green light go. Red light stop, green light go. Like, you have the timing, dynamic or whatever in your head. That's not a problem. But I'm so clumsy physically that the execution is usually what gets me. Either way, just rain some heck on that fool. Oh, cool. Here's more of our absconded automatons. Our, I hate the time to take them to the cleaners, okay? So one, two, three, four at the same time. Uh-oh. There we go. I want you to hit yourself. Cool. Yep, see see what see what I'm doing? I'm firing and because the thing is on its side, the scorpion just gets pushed over really, really far. Which is funny, but it's really unfortunate from a mobility perspective. Is this it? What was Oh, this was a little hidden way to do this. Okay. Well, whatever. Hi. You're dead. Man, I really wish they'd give me a big fat box of loot with all this science stuff they're working on, considering <laughs> I'm screwing up and saving their labs. Well, I'm fixing their screw-ups and saving their labs. That's how I should phrase that. Get him! Get that boy! Get him! Yeah, I didn't even notice this thing. I just did the timings and I went for it. Why? Because I guess I'm an idiot. Okay, more crap. There's the music. I was wondering why this was quiet. Fire, thank you. Down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Second one is down, up, down, up. Yes, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, cool, easy. It'll also be fairly simple. One, two, thank you. I think this is a little too close for me to cut it on the right side. Up, down, up, down. That's definitely it. So down, now up. Thank you. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's take a second to think about this. This shouldn't be that difficult. I should be able to figure it out on the fly. So let's give it a fly. Ooh, what timing. 
Boof. Yeah, out of here, son. No, get this guy. I know that other one was closer via proximity, but this one's closer via it's actually in the way. Okay. I need, I need, I need to either widen this guy up a bit, or put some more heavy blocks on the bottom or something. Because when he turns like this, and attacks a target, the fact that yeah, see, he just gets bowled over. That's really bad from a stability perspective, which also hurts my accuracy a lot. Cool. I'll take my level up. Oh wait, yeah, we just got a level up, but this should be a boatload of experience all the same, right? Another sterling effort, B57981J. With your help, we'll get to the bottom of these insurrections incursions soon enough. We'll report back to HQ. Why don't you start rebuilding the defensive systems, yes? And I must find out what's going on with this blasted roofing. I'm not touching your science. No, not get get out of here. I'm not touching any of your malarkey. That was 5,000 experience. Holy crap. Good stuff. Oh, what the hell? Is this a Tesla? Pretty cool research Tesla coil. What is this thing? Gigaplasma? Ho oh, ho. Man, I can't wait to build some ridiculous stuff with this crap. Okay, let's head to a shop. Um, actually, load tech. Wow. Uh, oh. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. Okay, swap. Swap. Cool. That did work the way I wanted it to. Nice refill of health. Very simple. Very simple, very easy. Just switch techs. Everything in your inventory is full health. Absolutely everything. You don't summon something and it's already half damaged. So just switching out the techs like that works out well. Scanning area for missions. The zero point hollow. Finish the course before time runs out. Uh, sure. That'll get me another research level of there. And hooligans. Dispose of the hooligans. Okay. Hooligans is closer. Let's take care of that. Uh, they're already dropping from the heavens. I'm gonna use my tech to get over here, and then I'll summon some friends. Where are my friends? Hi. 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 Let's go, boys. Let's give him a face full of chain gun. Coming? Okay. It's literally desert. Holy crap. Doom shover? Yeah, I'll wait here. I'll cheat a little bit. <laughs> I'll use terrain to my advantage. It's not cheating, it's just good tactics. You're dead. Don't even play the fool, you're dead. Oh, that was fast. Uh oh. Cool. Good amount of experience points for little to no effort. Okay. <laughs> then blocks the inventory, then blocks the inventory, then blocks the inventory. Literally reinforcements on demand. Uh, let's switch into something a little more awkward, and then back. Cool. I'll take you. Just churning through missions like crazy. This is great. Oh, a bunch of stuff here too. Yoink. <clears throat> I said yoink. Good stuff. And because we've been completing missions, we've been able to actually make a bit of money. Zero point hollow. Let's do that. That'll get me uh, rank number three. For ridicule research. Uh, load tech. 
Bop tech. Buy tech. I like the factory buildings. I like the research. I like the research centers. It's a really nice touch, I feel. We already here? Is this already the place? Holy crap, what is all this? Uh, let's switch. Uh, why is the... Okay, whatever. I don't care. Hi. Maybe I should be Zippy in this case. Or a Zoomer. I'm calling him Zippy. Yeah, it's excellent. You're here precisely the right time. <laughs> Thanks, Groucho Marx. My orbital lasers have burnt out a perfect, a perfect course for me to test your control over your tech. I've added a few to of my toys to spice things up too. Hey. Just hey. You should serve to test your maneuverability, mobility, and firepower. You can choose to fight them or not, but that would be pretty cowardly if you just drive straight past them. I, dude, just give me the license. We can save each other a ton of time. Nah, yeah, just saying. Uh, quite cowardly of you. You wouldn't say a sad course, though. Wouldn't make for good results if you had to simply fly above all the obstacles. Yes, that would be a damn shame. One last tip for you. Watch out for the anti-gravity projectiles. Getting hit directly with one of those is bad news. Move to the gates to begin the test. Okay, so I'm just going to try with this suit. Finish the course before time runs out. Uh, I changed my mind. Where's my little zipper doodle? Yep. Yep, I'm just gonna skip this. <laughs> Cowardly, sure, but... Oh, what? What the heck? I do- I need to fight this, really? I can't just skeeter past? Come on, I want to just scoot past. Okay. Uh, fine. Cannot swap. Enemies nearby. I can't deploy it either, so... This sucks. Oh, can I get in on this side? Hehehe. <laughs> get Ben. Okay, yeah, I'm not going that way. Okay, what the heck? Minor turret? Mirror turret? Oof. Maybe I'll still make really good time. It is impossible to steer when in midair like that. Uh oh. Oh no! I'm dead. Nope, sorry, that's out of bounds, yeah. I freaking exploded into everything. Last tech used. What good is it if you just bypass the obstacles? Okay. Though so the other thing is, playing as the big... My big tech would be a big problem too. Where's the beginning? Okay. Love how much this engine just coasts me so evenly. Hurry to the gate so we can start the test. Oh, slow down. Wait till I finish counting down. My timing must be perfect. It really doesn't have to be. But I get your sentiment. Let's just try the scorpion tank. Because I guess I need something with weaponry. Oh, I see what you mean. I see exactly what you mean by anti-gravity or gravity weapon or whatever the heck you call it. Oh, okay. No, unlock. Unlock. No, I want to lock on this wall, dude. Yes, blocker. Okay. 
Okay. This is a dead end? No, okay. Just the walls are so non-distinct from everything else, it's a little hard to tell. Yep, I'm fine. I have no real regenerative ability right now, no armor, nothing great. I need to play this all incredibly carefully. Mirror turret, yeah. That was called. Okay, okay. We're okay. Oh, that's a lot of fire. That's a lot of fire. Okay, kill. Do you want to kill that turret this badly? Okay, I don't care about that turret. I care about this thing. Nope. Nope. That thing. That is a big boy. And I'm gonna get iced. I am gonna get iced. Print mark eight. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I got bigger stuff. I didn't bypass the obstacles. I absolutely died. See why this is called Zero Point Hollow. Uh, okay. So, I would like to change my pants. How do I... Right click is just not happy with me. Swap tech. Cool. We are going in thunk a blazin. Got a little... Oh, okay. Okay, alright. Alright. Okay. Might have to go solars this time because... It is going to be a little difficult for me to get literally anywhere where there's trees and then all the way back. So we'll just do this real quick, like. Yeah, I'm on my way, dude. You are just impatient as crazy. Now, the only thing I'm really worried about this is going to be the gravity weapons or whatever. No, I'm not ready. I'm not ready at all. Do I feel I could win with this with this tech? I think my chances are a lot better, considering I'll actually have firepower and healing and everything to boot. I should be able to maintain fairly well throughout the course, assuming the gravity things are things I can actually avoid. Shouldn't take long. We've already got... Our screen's back on, our bubbles are coming back on, we already have 20% of our power back. Just a little bit of preparation. Yeah, I'll, I'll hustle my bustle when I'm confident I'm going to win. It's like I said before, if... Oh, actually I said that in Industry Giant 2, I think. Uh, preparation is the key. I would rather take a little bit of extra time to make sure that everything is ready rather than rush it, and then the problem really is now I gotta do it again because I failed. Eighty percent is more than good. I'm satisfied with this. Let's go. Ha! I'm so heavy, the grav weapons don't do anything. They make me go faster! Because I'm floating! Oh, that's amazing! You know how I deal with your gravity weapons? Completely ignore them. That's awesome, alright. 
I shouldn't have to do anything other than just point and destroy. Yeah, you're dead. Hi, how's it going? You're dead. <laughs> yep. No, this is perfect. I was honestly worried about those gravity weapons because I'm like, if they're really, really strong, they could just shovel my little guy out of everything and that would be that. Um, no, but I'm huge, so big deal. Yep, you're dead. Hi. Cannons you can fire whenever you like. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm getting experience points for killing all these techs. That would be honestly really cool if I was, because this would be maybe a great way to repeat some experience points. Turret Mark 8, dead. Yep, dead and dead. Gosh, I hope this is the end of the course. Uh, uh. Okay, I see the path. That genuinely worried me for a second there. Genuinely. You're dead. And I'm stuck? I can't go into build mode to rotate because I'm getting shot at. Yep, you're toast. Three pound cannon should be able to finish you off as we're turning around. And if not, the auto cannons in the back should be able to finish the job for me. Okay, I needed a bit more power to make this work, apparently. Don't tell me this is some steep hill I can't even get up. Oh, there's way more to this. Spinner, okay. <laughs> I'm too big, it doesn't matter. I'm so huge, it doesn't matter. Uh-oh. Oh, cool. Okay, I thought it was too big. Oh, come on. Come on, ten seconds. Oh, I gotta go this way? No, I'm gonna go this way. Nuts to you. I'm too big. And time's about to run out. Oof. Yup, too big. Let's at least go around the rest of the course. I want to know how much is left. If there's, like, a ton left, then nuts to this whole thing. I'm just gonna zoomer... Ooh, excuse me, zoomer it up a bunch. Because my little scorpion tank was not enough. I'm gonna guess this is a dead end. Hard to tell how much is left, even. Huh. Is this just, is this still the course? Is this still more of this? This is incredible. Yeah, that feels like the end right there. Oh, wow. There, I still needed another minute in the tech that I had. Easily I needed another minute to get all the way to the end. So I need something that's a lot, lot zippier. And an aircraft won't do. No, I'm not at all ready. Go ahead and run the clock. I'm not going. I need to think about a battle plan here. Do I have anything that would give me significantly more traction that's not like a lull vehicle? Because I've built a couple of like... Yeah, this is a really dumb vehicle. It's not going to work. 
kind of things. Um, I really like my scorpion tank, but I need it to be more resilient. So let's make it more resilient. I've got some time. Where's my cab at? Huh. <laughs> I'm currently tearing apart my suit. And you just noticed that I'm out of bounds. That's funny. I like that. Um, okay. I think I want this thing to be five wide. Because I feel symmetry is kind of important. Uh, I don't care about these two pieces at all. Okay. Oh, I said I wanted five wide, and then I built it four wide. Aha! I'm an idiot. Uh, you know what? I super don't care about these two wide pieces. Yeah, I'm working on literally building a mech attack just for this very purpose. You should feel honored that I have been bothered enough... To build a new tech just for this challenge. Give me a second, you 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 dork. <laughs> just don't have words. Just hang on. Hold on to your pampers, Sonny. We'll get there. Um, I don't need that AI core, because I'm not doing this as an AI. Let's get this out here. Hi. Um, okay, all that can literally go away. What does Hawkeye have for batteries? Because batteries are my problem, I think. Ion battery. Heavy duty. Rugged. Uh, yep. Oh, a lot of words. Got it. Gonna be the quickest rush job ever just to beat a mission, I think. Of course, the spirit behind it is, you know, take time, figure it out, try new things and whatever, and I'm totally doing that. I have not built a lot with Blackhawk. I am enjoying it, and I'm going to enjoy the crap out of this match. Okay. Side wheels. There are the medium track. Check. Okay. Moves pretty quick. Um, that being said, nope, undo, undo, thank you, this guy goes right there, no point having the cabin in the front, at all, uh, I can still see, the camera's outside, nothing really changes, uh, so putting the cabin in the center allows me another layer of defense, which is good. I don't know what he's saying. I'm cleaning my glasses right now. If he thinks I'm starting, he's on crack. He's on Groucho Marx levels of crack. Okay, now... I don't need that. What do we do in terms of armor? Is armor more important than firepower? I don't know if that's true. Uh, are they accessory blocks? I don't care about power. Once I'm out of power, I'm kind of screwed, right? That's kind of the deal. How big is that? That's sufficient, I think. Put you back one. I think that's good enough for the front. That looks good enough to me. Okay, now armor. Hawkeye has some pretty good armor, I think. There's a lot of these heavy pieces. Yeah, yeah, corner armor. That looks cool. Split front armor, okay. Medium spike armor, okay. 
Um, just kind of want something that's just not dumb blocks, you know? Is there a... Oh. That would look weird. That looks good. Aw, oh, I ran out. I'll get there, Sally. Why don't you just relax a second? Build him a burkaber. Um, I wouldn't mind some stud lasers in front. Uh, I would like some artillery of some sort. Uh, I need something to cover up these uh, healing things. This makes me a lot of nervous, the way this is set up already. Okay. Seems pretty good. I've got a bunch of batteries. Hoping this will work. <laughs> it probably won't, but I'm hoping this will work. Let's just surround some stuff in blocks, call us an episode, and then I'd really like to give this another try. Why can I not put a block there? Oh, I see. There we go. Had to get scrooched over by one. And I would like some mortars of some sort. Okay, how does this look? It's still really bouncy. Yeah, it's still pretty bouncy even with the new stuff. I like it though. Let's save it real quick. Uh, Scorp Mark II. Or Scorpion. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna call it here. Thank you for joining me. Name's John Megacycle. After this, we'll hopefully be level 3 of Reticule Research and moving our way up to licenses. So thanks again. I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators. And if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.